Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I am going to talk about the overall placement procedure in IISC. So since I have opened this YouTube channel and uploading video regarding, regarding IISC, so many of the, my subscribers and uh, other people also have you know mailed me, messaged me, commented in different videos that please make a video regarding the placement scenario in IISC and also share my experience that how was my experience in IISC uh, regarding placement. So I was not making this video because I didn't have the proper statistics uh, during our time, the placement statistics that I didn't have. And I collected it few days back from one of my one of my friends. So I'll be I'll be making this video from today onwards. So it will be a series of video, maybe three to four videos I'll make regarding placement. So this is the first video where I'll be sharing the procedure of placement in IIC, the end-to-end -end procedure, how it starts, how it goes, and how how it happens. So the whole procedure uh, that I experienced also in my time that I'm going to discuss in this particular video. So if you're interested, please do watch the video till end. And before starting the video, so if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly now without further ado let's get started with today's video first phase of the placement is not actually placement that is internship so what happened is that company visits the campus during this uh, january mid to february mid uh, like the starting of the second semester for internship positions and they come up with uh, different profiles like data science profile software engineering profile system architect profile so various profile they will come for the internship and as well as for the placement also during placement also they will come the similar profile but this time they will come only for the interns now IIC that is one of the unique thing in IIC that they will allow you, the students to go for go for the internship uh, during the during the summer so what happened is that students uh, will appear for the in internship uh, placement and uh, they will again appear for the written test first and then there will be some some of the you know um, interviews maybe one round or two rounds and based on that whatever you're performing you'll be selected for the for for the internship and more more or less all the companies uh, used to come for the internship as well as for the placement so um, so whatever will be performing in that particular internship uh, interview based on that you will be selected because by the time you will be appearing for the internship actually so you don't you won't have any supervisor assigned for you for the mtech project you have just done three to four courses only these are the basic level courses that is the, that you have done in the first semester so company won't expect that much from you that you are specialist in some particular domain so based on what you have studied in your first semester uh, you will get uh, you will go uh, you, will, you will be interviewed and uh, based on your performance you will be you will be selected and once you got selected for for the internship so it, it, at the end of the, uh, the the second semester during the summer like from may to july uh, you will be going for that particular company do the internship and one good thing is that <coughs> If you if you are doing really well in your in your particular internship, uh, so what you what 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 can happen is that the company may offer you a pre placement offer. So if it happens with you, then what happens is like before the actual placement starts in the October mid, you will you will get an offer uh, in your hand and you will be free from that particular placement uh, placement uh, procedure and you will be like you there you, there will be no pressure on you so you can you can easily join the company that where you have done the internship. So that is one good thing about 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 the internship that you can get a pre-placement offer so this is the kind of the overall scenario of pre, uh, internship in IIS now coming to the actual placement part so actual placement happen in IIS in the mid of uh, October so unlike other IITs where placement starts in you know December first week so in IIS it starts with mid of October and it goes around 15 days to 20 days like till November first week everybody will be placed now the whole uh, placement scenario that is being managed by there is a team that is called office of career counseling and placement or in short you can call it OCAP. so you can go and uh, visit their website also it is uh, it is available online and i'll be giving the link in the description you can you can go and visit it out so this OCAP team they are the whole they are the you know they are the whole responsible for the for the placement uh, session that happens every year in in isc and few of the students from each department will be volunteer uh, for this placement uh, placement uh, whole 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 placement session so they will be like kind of point of contact for for the other other students uh, to the to the ocap people uh, so now what 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 the first step is that you have to register yourself in the ocap portal uh, by your by your email id and the next phase is that you have to you know create some cvs 
now you know cv is important uh, for placement because that is something you are you are you know showcasing your skills and projects to the recruiters so what iisc or okap people suggest is that you have to make a cv uh, within two pages so that when you take a take a print so there will be one one copy that you can you can go for your for your uh, placement and they always suggest you that you should always showcase your projects that you are doing uh, to in that particular particular uh, cv and if possible also mention about the mtech projects uh, because that is also important if some company is coming uh, where there is a work going on based on your project then there is a high chance that you will be get selected got, got selected if you if you give your interview well so that's why you have to showcase all the all your projects that you have done so far and then your mtech mtech projects if your problem statement is defined into mtech projects try to incorporate them in the in the cv and also one thing is that there are some companies specifically in data science so they don't take any written test so they directly shortlist you for the for the uh, for the interview based on what you have written in the cv so that's why cv plays a very crucial role sometimes that whatever you have written in the cv and uh, whatever the courses you have taken what are the projects that you have done on that particular courses so based on that some company might select you for direct and direct interview so then you you don't have to apply for the written test so that's why making cv proper cv is very important and that is the first step that you have to make the cv you have to build two or three cvs i can't remember exactly so I, we have prepared two or three cvs and we have to upload them in the that okap portal now next part is that once you have uploaded the cv in that portal so those people that okap team people from okap team will call you and they will ask you for the document verification so what you have written in that cv so you have to provide the you know supporting document to them so will go with all the documents to their office and they will verify it so like whatever you know cgpa you have you have stated uh, you have that you have got whatever your past academic records that you have written in the cv maybe you have worked in some other company like i was working in some company so i have to show my experience letter also uh, to them so they will verify it and once the verification is done they will activate your activate your profile next part is uh, pre placement talks or we call it ppts so what happened is that you know as i was saying that placement start in mid of october but before that like around september since from september first week company will start visiting the campus and they will give a presentation uh, which we call pre placement talk uh, so what happened is that man, uh, from the management of that company few people will come they will give a presentation regarding their whole organization structure their business uh, the projects they they, they are dealing with currently uh, what are the profiles that uh, they are offering uh, for the students in isc how many vacancies are there what are the packages that they are offering whole you know breakdown of the packages like what is the ctc what are the base what are the bonus everything they will be you know they will be presenting in that particular presentation which is typically around 1 hour the duration is 1 hour so if some student is uh, interested for that particular company uh, he or she is advised to you know attend that particular pre placement talk so that you know they will get to know about the overall uh, the company that that structure the business the work uh, the the packages what they are offering the role they are offering so everything you will get getting get to know if you if you attend that particular pre placement talk also you know in the pre placement talk you will get get to interact with with them also like uh, you can ask them the questions at the end of the talk so it is a good platform so everybody who is interested they are suggested to attend the talk and so that you know they will get to know about the company well before attending the their their placement uh, placement interview and attend next is that you have to apply for different companies that you want to appear for so in that okap portal so after your document verification it will be it will be activated now you can you can log in and you can see all the companies that are visiting your campus during a placement uh, placement time so what you can do is you can you can select any of the companies for any specific role that you want to appear for so different companies will come with different role as i was saying that there may be some data scientist profile software development profile system architect profile so many profiles uh, that company will come and you have to select which company you want to appear for and which are the role that that you are that you are uh, you know that you want to appear for maybe some companies coming for both data science and software development profile but if you are interested only for data science profile so you can select data science and that particular company then you will be considered only for the data science profile not for the software development profile now comes the actual placement time that is october mid when the actual placement happens now here is a catch that you know you may select many companies but all the companies won't come to the campus on a single day 
so in iis the company comes to the uh, you know campus for for the placement in slots so there are slot a slot 2 uh, slot b slot c like this way in each slot is typically 3 to 4 days uh, duration so first 3 to 4 days uh, the company who is coming for slot a they will come the next 3 to 4 days the company that is coming for slot b that will come and the criteria for the company to come in different slot is based on the packages that they are giving so whichever is giving the highest packages the ctc or base salary so based on that uh, this uh, you know which company will come in which slot that is decided and it is being decided by these ocap people so they will they will you know see the packages that is given by different companies and based on that they will schedule different companies on different slots and the concept is that you know at the end of each slot the result will be out and if you get selected for that particular slot you won't be you know eligible for sitting other company uh, other companies which is coming into in the in the coming slots so that is not possible so what happened is that uh, before that particular slot so there will be a written test and whoever is selected for written test they will appear for the written in that particular slot and whoever will be selected in that particular slot they can't be you know sitting for the next uh, next slots interviews and who is not selected they will be moving forward in the next slot so this is how the whole uh, whole you know placement uh, procedures happen during during the placement time that is made of october till uh, till november first week now coming to the actual procedure for a particular company so most of the company used to take a written test and if you are selected for the written test then only you will go for the interview as i was saying that there are few few companies uh, who who select people based on their cv for the for the interview but like 80 to 90 percent uh, company prefers to take a written test and then uh, then if you if you are if you're through to that written test then only you will go for the interview now written test is typically based on your programming skill and uh, your data structure and a bit of mathematics if you are going for data and uh, data science profile bit of linear algebra probably they may ask so based on that the written test will happen so it will uh, around like two to three hours uh, exam that you have to give based on the company i'm not saying it's fixed so some company takes one hour test some company two hours some may take three hours so based on that the written test will happen and its result will be out within within that day only so whether you are going for the interview or not now once you are done with the written test and what are select for the written, uh, selected for the written test uh, you have to go for the interview now interview uh, the rounds are typically two to three again it is based on different companies uh, that they take data science typically there are three rounds so two rounds is the machine learning rounds and third is the product design round so they will give a open problem and you have to solve it and yeah it will happen within that day only so within one day only these three rounds will be happening and uh, at the end of three rounds so based on whoever is appearing for the for the particular company they will select uh, select a uh, few of them based on whatever they, they have requirement and obviously if you are if you are paying for more than one company in a particular slot so you have to manage like you have to suppose in in a, in a single day you have three interviews so you have to manage them uh, so you have to constantly be in touch with those people who are the volunteers so that you know you can you can give interviews in different places so typically interview happens in in different departments so you have to go go to different departments and uh, give the interviews where volunteers will be there they will be calling you when when your turn will come for a particular company and you have to go and give the interview yeah so this was the overall procedure and whatever you are performing in the written test and interview based on that only you will be selected obviously the first uh, two slots like slot a and slot b where the package will be higher there will be a lot of competition because most of the students want to get into those those companies but as time will go from the third slot or fourth slot the competition won't be that much within first two slot only almost 70 to 80 percent people will be will be placed and whoever will left they will be placed in the next uh, two to three slots so in the upcoming video i'll be sharing what was my experience that time and what was uh, our batch experience that who how many how many slots it takes to you know complete it what are the packages and all so i'll be i'll be sharing that in the upcoming videos so that's it guys that's it about this video where i'm i try to give you a brief about the whole procedure in isc uh, during the placement time i hope uh, this is this will be helpful for all the students uh, who are asking me to share the, my experience share the detail about the placement so that's it guys that's it about today's video if you have liked the video please like it and share it with other people so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly so that's it that's it for today's video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye